into the sports bar on Talk Sport with myself, Jamie Har and Dean Saunders. A bad night at the office for Chelsea. They've lost 2-0 to Real Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinal first leg. Is the tie over? Or can you get something from this game? You haven't scored in over five hours of football. Who's to blame for this? Is it Frank Lampard? Is it the players? Or is it Todd Bowley? Because he's having a bit of a stinker as the owner of Chelsea Football Club right now. 3 4 Let's go to David. He's a Chelsea fan. Right, Dave? Hi, David. Hi there. Hi, Dave. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Good, good. What do you reckon tonight? Oh, what have you seen? Such a disappointing evening. And and, it, and it's, it's cutting de- deep down into my bone marrow, just day after day, watching Chelsea, watching these magnificent players just being let down by... I don't know what it is. It's just the malaise that just seems to be seeping through the team at the moment, I think. Yeah, look, Chelsea have always been so used to winning, David. You know, like they've always just found a way to win trophies. Even when, even that Champions League win when they beat Manchester City, you'd say they wasn't the best team in the tournament, but they always Absolutely. just found a way to get it done. I'm looking at yeah. Chelsea now and they've just gone soft. It's a soft mm. football club. And it's, it's not something I've, I've seen in, what, 15 years? Of watching they've Chelsea? That, they've lost that resilience, that fighting spirit that they used to have, which was just integral to Chelsea. And as a Chelsea fan, you really felt that. You, you know, they felt that they wanted it. And I don't know, you're just not seeing it anymore. Yeah. Uh, they've always had the best players. And I, I don't think they've got the best players anymore. When do you think back of the midfield? Balak, Lampard, Essien, Makaleli. Uh, and then you look up the front, Drogba, Robin, Duff. Hold on. Like, just... I know, They've I, always had the best players. I, I understand it, Dean, but hold on. You know, they've got Enzo Fernandez in midfield who's just won a World Cup. You've got Kante in there. You've got Thiago Silva. Reese James, for me, is the best full, one of the best fullbacks, if not the best fullback in the world. Kula bali has been a top player. Jao Felix. Name me, some, sco- name me some goal scorers. Yeah, people under- who get goals. Name I know, me some. I know that, Dean. I know they're lacking a goal scorer. I get that. But you can't say they ain't got top players in the side. That performance well, yeah, tonight, yeah, I in my am. opinion, I'm saying they, they, was embarrassing. The squad is littered with players who don't score. It's littered with it. Even the bench. The squads have got strength, but they just haven't got the, the gel that kind of keeps them together. You've got Conte, who's just world-class, but he's just not uh, just not finding his feet at Chelsea. And I don't know why that is. He's got to play him in the middle for me. He's played him on the right. He's, pl- he's playing. Yeah, so Conte tonight is playing where Odegaard plays. So you've got Odegaard and Jacker advanced and part Thomas Party sits. He put uh, Enzo in the Thomas Party role. Yeah. And I don't think Kante will sit in front of his centre-backs and intercept all day long. He's brilliant at it. That's his strength. I don't think he's a right of the three man. No, he's never, for me, he's never been there. It's like, it's like buying, um, you know, those, uh, those old sweets that you used to get, those space rocks that used to pop in your mouth. Chelsea for me at the moment is like it's like buying a packet of those, but they've just all congealed into one lump and they haven't got that pop anymore. All right, that's not a bad analogy. When Joe Felix turned up, I thought he's a player. You know, straight away you look and you think he is is a a player. player, He is a player. But is he turning into a bit of a flatter to deceive player? He's got to start banging it in the side, you know, far corner, bottom corner. He's it's a keeper, misses. I think they all look a little bit disheartened. I think they've got a, a, a severe lack of belief. The Chelsea Football Club that we I know is that. gone. You know, and this Chelsea Football Club, they've come in, spent £600 million on players, but they actually haven't got the identity of what what made Chelsea Chelsea. Do you anymore. think one out-and-out world-class centre-forward would make a difference to all the players in the squad? Do you think that's what's hurting them all? It would help. If you haven't got a striker who's going to get you 20 a season... Would you bring Lukaku back next He's season? He's better than what they've got. I know he's, he, 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 what he said was wrong and he, he's probably, you know, he's probably done too much damage to go back. But someone like him, if you're going to spend all that money, go and buy like... I know it sounds... This this is not going to go down well. well don't go and Harry sign Harry Kane. Kane. Harry Kane's not going to go to Chelsea. Well, go and sign some the equivalent of... Like, he could have got Lewandowski. Go and get someone who's going to make the others look good. Yeah, let's go to Lawrence, who's a Chelsea fan. All right, Lawrence? All right. Yeah, yeah I'm fine, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm very optimistic. I'm happy that we lost today, personally. Um, I don't think we deserve to be in the Champions League at all. 
And I thought this is great for us for next season where we don't need to deal with all the pressures of um, the European and all that stuff. Like, we can really just we, start again and rebuild. But you weren't, but you weren't going to have that anyway, unless you won it. Yeah, and we, we, not, we wasn't going to win it. And we don't, I don't we need it anyway. I feel like it stops now the, the, um, the illusion of other fans that think maybe this could have been another 2012 or a 2021. Like, it's not that. Like, the team hasn't got desire and you need desire to win these trophies that talent alone is not going to help you when you're seeing the players today these guys don't know what they're doing these guys are just running they don't know exactly the formula or yeah. all these things so you can have the talent all you want but if you ain't got a formula you ain't going nowhere this team hasn't had a formula throughout this whole season minus Thomas Tuchel so I feel like this is now definite that we're not going to have Frank Lampard for next season and we can actually bring a manager that knows how to use these players and use their attributes properly instead of just having these players just because, you know what I mean? Is it Lawrence it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Lawrence, Lawrence. Right, yeah, yeah. let's go through it then. Rebuild, right? So you start at the yeah. back because you rebuild yeah, your yeah. team from the back. Are you happy yeah. with the goalkeeper? Um, personally, no. Right. I mean, he had a good game today, but in the long term, I don't think Kepa, I don't really trust Mendy either as as number one, I feel like we need to change the number one. We need a better number one person. He lets a lot of long range shots in. I thought you could have yeah. saved that tonight. The second goal. I mean, Goes through legs. Goes through, legs through bodies. Tonight, save just, it. Um, regardless of that, he was very commanding. Like when it came to him holding the ball, commanding his box, he done what he he had to do. We have to remember this is Real Madrid. Like this is not any other just random team. This is like the winners of last season that like, of Champions League. So of course we wasn't. I wasn't expecting him to do an amazing job today. Like, this is a world-class team against a team that don't know what they're doing. We wasn't going to go far anyway, personally. In that All game. right, well, we got you got the goalkeeper, right? If you want to change yeah. him, you probably would. And then you've got yeah. Kudabali, Silva and Fofana. Are you happy with them, three? Yeah, I'm happy with Fofana. I'm happy with Silva, of course. Like, he's the goal. Kudabali. Um, Kudabali, yeah. I'm happy with him. Right. Just, right back. I think fingers getting him, but... Reese James and left back yeah. Chilwell. Can't A in front yeah. of him. Yeah. That's all right. 100%. It's yeah, the other 100%. end of the pitch that's the problem. Um, it's just the strikers. Like I feel like the players that we have up, uh, up top are playmakers. We ain't got finishers. Like If these guys had places to put the pass to, I think we'd be a well better team. We just got a bag of playmakers, but we ain't got a finisher. So mm. it's hard for these guys to really make something. When you were seeing the game, the guys would go up to the top and because they've got no one to pass to, they just have to go back. Like, there was mm-hmm. no one. You've got Sterling going out to the wide. You've got um, Felix dropping too deep because these guys are not strikers. They're not born strikers, so they don't know what they're doing when they go up top. They're mm-hmm. not driving forward and um, using their strength against these defenders. Well, these no, but they're not fighting. idiots. I mean, you've got Joao Felix and Raheem Sterling up there. I mean, Raheem Sterling's in the 100 club in the Premier League. Yeah, but he got it from all out wide. He never got it from playing in the middle. He got it from playing out wide, and he was playing for Man City, which are a team that are that create a bag of chances. Like, so it was going to be natural for Sterling to be banging in goals, but he never. I never saw Sterling play from the middle in, in Man City and bang them goals. He was. I didn't see fight to tonight, Lawrence. I didn't see fight. I, I I get what you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah and, and they need a striker. Thought, I get it. But I didn't see fight. I didn't see passion. I, like, I didn't see like. I, Chelsea. Yeah. You know what I saw? I saw yeah. Brighton. 100%. No, I saw like I saw a team that has no formula, but when you have no formula, what are you fighting for? Like you have no strategic play. You guys are just running. You're not there is no formula. There's nothing to fight for because you don't know what you're doing. So it's hard for them to fight for something that they don't know what they they're fighting for if you get what I mean. Like these guys were just running throughout the whole game or even just strolling because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Like if you had a, a, a I actually think I'm being disrespectful to Brighton and Sam Brighton. Even if you had a stepping stone to do your thing, you would be able to fight. There's even Burnley. Like, Burnley, you can see when you're watching their games, you know their formula. It might not execute as well, but you can tell what type of play they're playing. With Mm. Chelsea, there's none of that at all. Do you know what, Lawrence? You know know what managers used to say when when I was playing? I don't know when you was playing as well. I'd probably say it. Managers used to say, because we used to know all the teams, right? And the managers used to say... Five aside team, this one. Five aside. Mm. And and Chelsea are in a, in a bit of danger yeah. of being one of them. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.